I'm here with Chris Moore from Brooklands. Chris, what's your role at Brooklands? Um, generally, I'm the volunteer coordinator on Saturdays, so I try and look after the volunteers. Um, and obviously, I'm part of the Napier team. And, you, and I come down, so when the Napier comes out, we tend to go with the car. So you brought her along to Goodwood today? Indeed, yes. You're doing a run up the hill later? Uh, we did the run up the this hill weekend? this morning, yep. much earlier. And it was wet, a bit damp, so I think Alan had some fun going up. Um, it's only the one run today. We've got two runs for the everyday subsequently, yeah. so Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got two runs. And what are you hoping to achieve this weekend by bringing her out? Well, as always, the, the, it's, as you can see, it's like bees around a honeypot. Yeah. People expect Brooklands to be here. Yeah. They expect to see the Napier. Even though they've seen the Napier once, twice, even five times, they still want to see the Napier yeah. and talk about it. Because I don't know whether it's reassurance or whatever, but it's, it's just a, they believe that it should be here, as we yeah. do, because it just projects She's Brooklyn's museum. She's just a fabulous car. I feel sorry for anyone visiting the museum this weekend because they're not going to see her. She's here at Goodwood. Well, uh, we, <laughs> we've already met two guys who are with... <laughs> Um, who came to the museum mm. yesterday yeah. uh, and they explained of course there was a gap because yeah. the car wasn't yeah. there. They are now here yeah. so they've actually got a double benefit because all right they've been to the museum and seen the museum and today they've seen the car here and they've seen the car running. Well I've so, seen her umpteen times but as you say you just can't get enough of this Napier. Yeah and, and, we're, and we're biased obviously because we love the team. And I've seen her running but I've never sat in her. Haven't you? Can I have a second? Well I think I, I Can can't commit running? myself. I think I would need to ask the boss if you know if uh, that, that could happen. Where's the boss? The boss is Alan who's Alan Wynn at the moment who is the, the gentleman behind you right. who is the driver um, and I think Alan could I pull you in for a minute? Yeah. This young lady is our um, camera lady we, we, on the I'm talks with and with Mark an for, uh, for and I just wondered TV. whether this young lady could actually sit in the car she's a real petrol head I can't make that decision how much is Mr Jarman going to pay for the privilege of you <laughs> sitting in the car <laughs> so, right so to get in we put our right foot on the spring there left foot over on the oil tank okay. Right foot that's step right right now swing up and your left foot over on the oil tank on the the gray oil tank right now uh, lean back on the uh, uh, on the set like that now bring both legs under the steering wheel at the same time that's it now just slide down and there you are yeah yeah right so now you're in you'll notice the steering wheels about 50% bigger than the one in whatever modern car you drive I've, I've got an old VW vehicle yeah yeah so the steering wheels about that wide yeah right okay so if you've got a VW Beetle you'll be familiar with a manual transmission right oh, yes right okay so what you're now going to do is take your left foot mm -hmm. put it on the clutch pedal now push the clutch pedal all the way Whoa. to the floor that's heavy and I'm quite sure I, I got that to the floor, yeah. Right, so that's what it's like for every gear change. Yeah, I would, if I was driving this, I'd need a cushion behind oh, it. No, 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 it's got an adjustable seat. Okay, wow, all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, over there, yeah. you have a three-speed gearbox. Yeah. No reverse for when you get it wrong. Okay. Uh, so it's crash gearbox, no synchromesh. Okay. And then the other thing is that the pedals are all in the wrong order. Right. So instead of having a clutch, a brake and an accelerator, you have a clutch, accelerator, accelerator. in the middle and then the and brake on the right. Here. Yeah. Why? Because that's the way all proper cars are. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's... That's the accelerator. The accelerator and, and that's, that's the brake. brake. Okay. And as you can see, you actually need much narrower shoes than the ones you're wearing. Well, I mean, I've got quite small feet. Yeah. So I'm getting away with it in trainers. Yeah, but, but yeah, we, we all have to dry, uh, drive with racing boots with no yeah. welts on them and thin soles because yeah. otherwise you just get them. Um, I have got some narrower shoes that yeah. I wear for, for driving. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then you have a little fly-off handbrake. So unlike, unlike a conventional handbrake, you, if you just knock that back, uh -huh. 
it flies off, right? So that's how you do your racing starts. And then to put the handbrake on, you pull it back and then push the... Uh, so you get her in gear and you get her revved up. And, and then, then you just, then you just the tap the handbrake and... You just tap it like that. Yeah. And then pull it back. And then push the... Yeah. 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 So the gears are first. Yeah, fir first is there. First is over there. Yeah. Second and top. Okay. And that's it. Wow. And top speed is about 170 mile an hour. 170 mile an hour. Yeah. So how do you start up? Um, a rugby front row uh, <laughs> on the back <laughs> uh, pushing. So, so when so, are you taking her out? So you just put it in gear. <laughs> switch this is the ignition switch yep. straight uh, straight off a victorian house wall yeah so you just that. you switch those on you turn the fuel on under your um under your feet there yeah um and then if it's cold you uh give it about half a dozen pumps on this this uh this pumps neat fuel into the uh, into the inlet yep. manifolds and then you just tell them to start pushing and once they've got it up to about five miles now you just say okay and drop the clutch on it and it starts. And you drive her a lot then? Yeah. Oh. Would it have been you I saw driving her on Pendine Sands? Yes. Yes, I've got some lovely video of you there. That's my phone case. Well done. It's faded, yeah. so that's, that's but the that, Napier on Pendine. Yeah. Yeah. The Napier rails, yeah. yeah. And is that with me driving it? Or? No, there's no one in it oh, on that right. photo, yeah. that's just yeah. parked up. And yeah. I have got some shots yeah. of you driving as well. No, well, I, I have on the wall at home, yeah. I have two pictures of me driving at a Pendine, but I have two facing side, uh, facing each other of me and the Railton, and then me driving the 350 horsepower Sunbeam, and they're facing each other. It's yeah. on the on so the sand of Pen. Yeah, 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 oh, wow. yeah. That's, that was a day. That's, yeah, that's, that's something you really well if you if you stay here you've got to talk to your adoring public for the next uh, six hours yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. left arm uh, the uh, the identical one on the other side side of the seat, side of the seat and just yeah. lift yourself out here is, is here at Goodwood with the Brooklands team as well. Yes. Don't see that many women around the museum. There's not as many of us as there should be. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, I mean, I've got a great group of guys. I have to admit, all my volunteers are, are blokes. And what um, is it you do at the museum? I'm the aircraft technician. So uh, very lucky. So I get to play with some cherry pickers and, and different different things yeah. like the scaffolding. Yeah. Uh, we're currently renovating and we look after the aircraft so they're there for future generations to look at. Unfortunately, because they're standing, uh, they have to be preserved in certain ways. So um, myself and my team, we go around, see what's needed to be repaired, sand down. If any repairs are needed, then we go over with the paint. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a busy job. You start one end. Cosmetics on them. That's right, yes. You get involved in the mechanics on them? Unfortunately, we haven't got many moving vehicles now. No, sadly. Yeah, I mean, there are bits. The Concorde does have the nose drop, which uh, the volunteers, again, are... We do that every now and again, which again, we're all learning how to do it. But um, it's, it's a busy job. At the moment, we've got the Concorde 20th anniversary, so we're making sure that looks in pristine at the moment. But we're there with our rollers, so we aren't able to use spray paint. So it's a long job, but we you know, keep going. Do you have a favourite? Um, I think the Vanguard, only because that's the yeah. first aircraft I started on here, uh, yeah. Brooklyn, sorry. Um, the VC-10 Sultan of Oman is another lovely one, very high when you go up, you have to go on t full tilt for the cherry picker to reach the tail on that. Wow. So you get some amazing views as well of everywhere else in yeah. Brooklyn, because yeah. it's a, a very fast sight as you know. Um, but it's enjoyable, the teamwork, and as I said, there's always something to do. So we, we definitely don't have any downtime. You want some more girls along to join the team? Happy for anybody, yeah, yeah girls, anyone. boys, any yeah. age, it's Brilliant. more than happy. The, the more the merrier, but always Fantastic. busy. Thank you. I look forward to seeing, uh, seeing the exhibits. Yes, well, as I say, you'll see the difference between the four during and after because unfortunately yeah. we can't do the plane all in one go. So you can see where we started and hopefully you can see the difference at the end. That's interesting to see in itself though. Yeah. The pro the process. It is, yes, yeah. yeah. And especially once you're even from the cleaning process, we use a jet wash, you can actually tell the difference beforehand. 
and then once you paint you can see see how it progresses throughout the end so for, as I say for many generations to look at that's what we're there to preserve them yeah, absolutely. Okay. we've been interrupted again I know yes <laughs> lovely noise very good though fantastic